Now, uh, one man who's going to be fighting on the Rick, Rick, Ricky Burns undercard when he fights South African Paulus Moses, which is going to be on Box Nation on, on the 10th of March, is Paul Appleby. Now, Paul Appleby is going to be fighting Stephen Ormond, who, who is unbeaten, as far as I can make out, for the Celtic Super Pepperweight title. And I'm delighted to say that uh, Paul joins us on the line. Good evening, Paul. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Yeah, fantastic. Paul, big big year for you this year, because obviously that defeat last year against Liam Walsh, you've got to get yourself back, get yourself into contention, and this is not an easy road back, is it? Nah, but um, there's no point in just... Um, it's a good fight for me, because I know that um, I need to train hard for it, so... It's a, it's a great fight to come back. Oh, it's a, it's a great fight. Don't get me wrong. It's a great fight for the fans, and it's a great fight for the great fight for the fans inside the arena and the fans watching on Box Nation. But it's a it's a it's a quality fight. You know, you you could have you would have been excused for taking an easier six rounder. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would be. But I'm a fighter, so yeah, I fight anyone. Yeah. That's obvious. Uh, and, Paul, looking back on that Leon Walsh fight uh, la last year, have you been able to watch it since, or do you have to watch it through your fingers because you were so close to winning that yeah, one? Yeah, I've actually watched that about three or four times. Um, I, still, I still don't know how we got for that left foot, but <laughs> that's just the way it goes. It is the way it goes. <laughs> Would you like a rematch w w with Liam? Oh, definitely. It has to happen for the fans as well. And it's it was a great fight and um, yeah, definitely love a rematch. Uh, and I'll hopefully it. get one once. Uh, hey, well, listen, I'm, I'm sure Liam Walsh should Liam Walsh should be up for it. You know, his game is key. How's Ricky looking? Oh, Ricky's sharp, really sharp. Um, oh, he's um, there's a boy up sparring with him just now called um, Tommy Coyle. He's just making my dinner at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he's in the kitchen. He's in the kitchen now, making my fish for me. So, and, and Ricky's looking <laughs> strong, strong and sharp. What when 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 you're in the gym with, with Ricky? Um, does, does how much time does he spend? Does he does he sort of spend talking about tactics, or does he just get on with it and do that in private? I mean, is he a kid that pulls his hair out going through moves when he's in front of the mirror? Ricky just gets on with it. He loves it. That's what he does. He just he loves the sport and he he loves training. He loves sparring. He loves everything about boxing. So he just gets on with it. Yeah, he's kind of enjoying it because you know he's in a position now which there were probably times in the last ten or so years he never thought he never thought he'd be there, Paul. Yeah, well, it just if you put the hard work in, then you can yeah. you can do it. And Ricky's so dedicated and he works. He works so hard in the gym, and he's he's always had the talent, and he's just he's worked hard for it, and he's he's up there now. He is. He, I tell you what, he, he has worked hard for it. Paul Appleby, thanks very much for your time. We'll see you on the 10th of March up in Glasgow when you fight Stephen Orman for the Celtic Super Featherweight Title. Thanks very much indeed. No bother, mate. Cheers, yeah, mate. no bother to you too. See you later, Paul.